this would be such a hard video to film. Well, boys, I think I blew up the Corvette. Now, honestly, I wasn't even going to film this. I was thinking, maybe don't risk it. The car is fine. Never tell you guys. You'll never know this happens. You'll never know my stupidity. But a part of me was like, what if the worst is gonna happen? Then the car is gonna be gone for a while, and you're gonna wonder where the heck it is. So I'm telling you what happened. So here's the deal. I went on a cruise with my friend Jekka, and he loves doing donuts. <laughs> And he's like, are you gonna do donuts? And I was like, you know what, sure. I went out and ripped the Corvette. All of a sudden, in the middle of a donut, on my heads up display, I said, low oil pressure. Immediately, stopped my donut, rolled backwards, threw it in the neutral, turn it off. Got out of the car. Never seen a low oil pressure thing before. Apparently on some cars, it means that your oil might be just low. So, we thought, we're not gonna turn on the car again. We're gonna check the oil. So we checked the oil, no oil on the dipstick. So we put a cord in, no oil on the dipstick. Put another quarter cord in, because I had a little bit left. No oil on the dipstick. So we're scared I windowed the block or destroyed a rod bearing. I was under the impression the car had completely fine oil. Um, I'm used to my BMWs. <laughs> I'm used to them throwing a light when the oil's low. Uh, so I'm an idiot. I never checked it. That's why I didn't want to tell you guys. So, Jekka went to the gas station, brought more oil, and after two more quarts, finally had some oil on the dipstick in the minimum line. So, it was like four quarts low. Now the car does have an expansion tank, which means that it does take 15 quarts of oil. I'm pretty sure a stock Z06 takes 10.5 quarts of oil. Therefore, four quarts would put us down to 11.5. So, I had my good friends, Jean, Johnny, Johnny's brother, and Ethan, and a bunch of other people come out, brought a trailer, trailered up the Z06, didn't want to start it, didn't want to risk anything, and trailered it to INW Performance. So, I made a lot of big mistakes, a lot of rookie mistakes that I shouldn't have done, and that's why I didn't want to tell you guys this, but. Let's go ahead, go to INW Performance, tell them the exact same story that I told you, and see if my Z06 is blown up after four, th four months, three months of ownership. Let's go. They're gonna kill me. If the engine's blown, they're gonna kill me. There's the Z06 chilling right there. You can't even see it through my dirty windshield. everything because I don't trust it. No, you're golden. And here we are. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's. Oh, Let's go buy 15 quarts of oil. <laughs> well, a grand total of $143.66. That's potentially a write-off, so let's put that in there. Let's go to INW and pray that the Z06 is okay and I got lucky. I can't wait to get this tuned because this car is gonna sound so good. Let me sound good, sound good on diesel because we're gonna turn the pops all the way up on this thing. This thing is gonna be true BMW. How am I even gonna carry this? There's so much stuff. Dude, every oil change on the vet is gonna cost me more money than any of my German cars. Did I puncture this hose? No. No. And the drain plug's leaking. Yeah. But what's all this from? Catch can being full. If any of his uh, groupies want to know where he lives, it's right here. <laughs> you pulled away real quick. <laughs> 
Should we have a napkin here to see if there's metal flakes or no, something? Metal flakes. How do you know? I guess we'll know if we pull the filter, right? I can hear it. Yeah, we're gonna. Go. I can hear. I can it. hear the metal telling me there's none. It's four quarts low. Yeah, it's not good. Should we get a magnet and be like, if there's that much metal in it, yeah, you're yeah, done. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. That oil probably hasn't been changed in a long time. Probably since when they put the motor in. No, you said he changed it at seventy thousand. All right, stop playing with the no. oil so I can see where it actually wants this to land. This is for his subs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Playing with the stream. What yeah, do you think how, I'm supposed look to how do? Dirty my finger is. <laughs> Dave, come here. <laughs> that looks okay. It's a woman put this filter. On. Yeah, that was barely even tight. Yeah, I don't know what they feed these boys in New Mexico, but apparently it's not me. Why right, are you gonna pull the filter, Dave, or what? There's a helical oil on that one. Oh. There's a helical oil on this one too. Oh. What does that mean? You need new oil paint. Somebody's blown the threads yeah. up and then he coiled it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. On you know, both of them. On some good high horsepower motors too. What's up, Charlie? What you got, a handful of rocks? Zoom in on the rocks. What's that? What is that? The rocks. Rocks. <laughs> I hear metal chunks. If you can hear them, you're also in big trouble. No, nope, you're good. That's normal. Oh no, there's some sparkle in there. Well, there's always going to be some. Yeah, well, how many miles are on this motor? 12. Thousand? Yeah. Yeah, that's normal. Okay, so we're putting the new oil in. Everything looks good, so I think we might have dodged a bullet. Four, that's a hundred and ten. And you got about thirty bucks of oil in there still. <laughs> so what happens when the catch can gets full, it goes back into the lines that it came through, right? Like all the oil? Yeah, it goes into like the suction line into the is the oil goes back into the intake manifold and then goes through the entire intake system and then out the exhaust. Yep, like right now. Like that? Still going? Well, I mean, I've been driving the car with probably a full catch can for a while because it was overflowing bad. And then we let the car sit for two days, so all that oil dried in there and inside the exhaust. So we had to burn all that off. It's slower if you do a, I mean, it's easier if you just do a burnout. He didn't like that, he just kept looking straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's our best friends. Nah, they can't do anything. Yeah. Wrong town, buddy. He tripped 
the tires on that third. It kind of smoked a little bit, but not nearly as bad. Dang. It feels nice knowing that she's back. And 100% and not broken. I was so scared. This car is literally my favorite car. And knowing that I didn't break it really makes me feel a whole lot better. But now the smoke's basically all the way gone. There's still a little bit more residual in there. So like when the car cools off, then reheats up, it does, does do a little bit and then it just burns off until eventually it all burn away. So we just keep, gotta keep an eye out on the catch can. Like Colby said though, it needs to retune. So it's either we retune it or we just pro charge it and tune it. And I think we're gonna do the second thing. INW gets the pro charger kit the minute that we get the dyno to the shop. So dyno is literally a week and a half away. So pretty soon this thing is gonna be pro charged, hopefully making around 800 to 850. But anyways guys, I wanted to film this because it's maybe, maybe not much happened in this video, but a lot happened for me. And I buy these cars to show you guys all my situations that I have with them, good and bad. And hiding this, like I said before, it could have been a lot worse and I could have had like a car that was broken and you wouldn't know what happened. So filming this video was more of just like showing you guys my experience and telling you everything that goes on in my life. And I wanna get better at that. I wanna post more every week and doing stuff like this is how we're gonna do it. And sharing you my little adventures, little mini vlogs and basically my headaches, struggles, and my achievements. So, with that being said, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you to everybody that helped me. I had Johnny Mulch, Jean, Jekka, Jekka's wife, my girlfriend, Johnny's brother, Ethan, and so many other people get this car to INW just to then find out that we could have actually probably drove it to INW. But, man oh man, I have good friends and a good, reliable shop that always does me right. But with that being said, guys, this is gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell. Next video, we are going to be tuning the M4 and making that thing a whole lot faster. That way, she can keep up with this car when I'm taking both of them out on the streets. So, I'll see you next video. Drive safe. Okay, so ever since I got the Corvette straight piped, I've been pulling into my driveway by turning off the car and throwing it into neutral. And uh, that's why I park it this way. And look at this. Dude! It's not touching. Am I too good or too lucky? <laughs>